It's the 70th anniversary of the D-Day invasion, and the people of Normandy commemorate this international effort with a week-long celebration. But for the 37th Airlift Squadron, this event started much earlier. So this event actually started uh, two years ago within the 37th. Uh, the then squadron commander, Lieutenant Colonel Olson, was looking for a way to kind of connect the squadron back to its heritage and found out there was an old C-47 that flew in our unit and then also found some of the members from our unit that flew that C-47. That's where this kind of all started. Two years of planning not only to reconnect with their heritage, but also to coordinate 14 planes to drop over 600 paratroopers to recreate the D-Day jumps. All of this to honor their past, but the 37th discovered another element to these celebrations. So on the international side, um, it's been working with the, uh, the Brits, the Germans, the Belgians, uh, the French, getting us all together. And what we're doing is we're making sure we have max U.S. participation and flyovers for French events that are honoring really, that's kind of amazing to come to France as they honor America. It's just a sort of overwhelming response. So it's nice to re be reminded that our alliance has lasted since the start of our country till now. D-Day, remarkably, has grown beyond that one day. It has become a reminder of the value of friendship. For though D-Day is about this, it is also about this. It's about the memory of great men and great men making memories. It's about honoring hollowed ground and then rising above it. It's about respecting what they've done and marveling at what we've accomplished. It's about the people who stood for what was right and the people who can stand together today. Senior Airman Nicholas Crisp, Normandy, France.